Welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, supplying the tools to manifest anything. We're going to ma advance manifesting and we're not going back. I shouldn't even have the category advanced manifesting in my playlist because everything's advanced now. What are we going to do today? We are absolutely going to talk about how you manifest in an advanced way. I want to address this. I keep addressing it over and over and somehow most of you are not doing this one thing. You're not doing this one thing. You're not seeing everything as one. You're separating yourself. A really cool guy bought my, uh, I have a journal called I Am, and I have prompts on it. I tell you, you know, here's what I am, and then I give you, you know, some things to, to write in there. You know, I just write on the top, and it's all blank pages with some prompts in there that get you to make some powerful statements. And there's energy in that. He buys my um, journal. Thank you. Amazing. Okay. And then he writes me questions. Should I write it a few times? Do I say it a few times every day? And I said, there are no rules. So then he says, oh, okay, I get it. Then he came back and said, well, should I... Blah, blah. I said, read the email. There are no rules. So people want to, to know that there's a formula for everything, and there isn't. It's, it's one step. You must be on the frequency of that of which you desire. When you write in that journal or you go to manifest anything, there's not like, well, should I say it a few times a day? And a few people have, have said to me, well, if I, if I focus on what I don't want, am I creating more of that? I'm like, you're doing it. It's not something that something goes, oh, I misunderstood what you were talking about. I thought you wanted more. Well, you were talking about the negative stuff, so I'm giving it to you. Or, oh, you didn't say that mantra ten times. And there's, nothing out, there's nothing out there. You're it. You're, you are the thing that you're talking to. So I'm going to ask you. How do you feel about that stuff you write in the journal? Are you just writing it because you think, oh, here's a, if I write it 10 times, it's going to happen? Then it's not going to happen. Because your thought is that there's something out there and you're, wa you're waiting and you're waiting. You're doing it. So you write in that journal and you better damn well feel like you believe it. And if you don't, it's a feeling. It's free. That's, there's no rules because you must personally resonate if you, the more you write it, you feel more powerful, then write it a lot of times. If you, it's like, I don't need to write a lot of times. I write it once, I get it. Or if you have negative feelings behind it, then start writing out. I, you know, I release the negative feelings. I forgive. I do whatever you need to. Then you, then you start to go into that space to clear that up. Only you can do it. You're doing all of it. So if you say, well, well, if I do this, am I attracting this and that? I don't know. Are you? What are you thinking? What are you thinking and feeling? You're doing it. So if you're sitting there saying, well, if I, you know, I don't know, if I say this, am I gonna accidentally attract something? Yeah, because you just said it. So apparently you think that's a possibility. It's not for me. It's zero possibility of me manifesting something that I don't desire. And then the stuff that comes along that's regular life challenges is what keeps me on my toes learning more, raising my frequency and realizing all of my new things that I can do. Challenges me in a positive way. What else can you do? What else is in store for you? You know, here's something else. All right, life gets boring if everything's like consistent all the time, right? We, the challenge is what's so exciting. What are you feeling and thinking? You are not separate. Knock it off. If I'm thinking it, that's what's happening. If I'm feeling it, that's what's happening. If I'm creating that story, that's what's happening. By the way, the story in the head. I did a video on the story in the head. Three second reality shift. You know what that's about? Everything that's going on in your life, everything's a story in your head. So you, if you think you have to have some you know, tricks or techniques then you don't believe you're, you have the power to do it yourself. And you're going to sit there and wait till the day you die for somebody else to do it for you. And that's impossible because free will doesn't allow that. you got all these angels and guides sitting there. Come on! You want to do it? Do it. We'll help you. We'll, we'll step in and help you do what you're manifesting. They won't take over. Like, well, give me something that's good for me. 
No, you've got to do it. I'm sorry, I know it stinks, doesn't it? We don't get out of it. We don't get out of anything here. So you might as well hang in there and do your best. So if you want to be depressed, wasting a lot of good, valuable time, feeling bad. We have all hit rock bottom in some way. Some financially, some emotionally, some with their backgrounds. Eckhart Tolle had a horrible childhood. He thought about killing himself when he was like seven years old. He didn't want to live. He had a horrible childhood, right? If you think any of those people that are successful or that I'm sitting here and I haven't had challenges, think again. It's how you respond to it. So if you think you're separate from that which you create, then you're, you're sitting here just disconnected because you're creating it, because you're never disconnected. But it's giving you what you believe. So if you believe you're disconnected, then nothing's it's sitting there doing nothing because you're sitting waiting saying, something's going to do it separate from me. There's no technique. There are practices, and I do that on my channel. I give you practices for you to create it, for you to focus, for you to make it happen, and for you to be okay with whatever happens because that's exactly what you've ordered too. Sometimes what comes or doesn't come is your opportunity to make another change and improvement because if you're not manifesting what you desire, something else has to change. Either your ego's in the way or disbelief's still there or you're disconnecting yourself to that which you want to manifest. You still believe that there's a technique and it's just going to show up instead of saying, if I'm thinking it, that's it. I'm thinking it, there you go. Nobody's going, I think Bob deserves that and Jane, oops, you haven't been so good. Hey, there's no Santa Claus. Oops, sorry. I hope no, nobody, like, I ruined it for somebody. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. I'm going to do this over and over and over again because that's the number one thing I hear is people think they're separate. And then they think, then they think other people are a problem. And I'm like, you're still in separation. You still don't get it. That is you. That's another expression of you in that situation, in that body, in that sex, in that skin color, in that education level, in that culture. That's you in that situation. That's how you're acting. When you cut off somebody or whatever, and you know, you're like, oops, I didn't mean to do it. And the other person, guard, how are you asshole? You know, right? Well, you know how that feels. So when somebody cuts you off, remember, remember you being in that car, accidentally cutting somebody else off or, or whatever. That's me. That's me in a hurry you know, oblivious to something. That's me being angry at work and having too much on my shoulders and taking out on other people. That's another aspect of me. There's no separation. When you get that in your head, the floodgates are going to open up. Holy cow. All right, you're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. That's from the Master Key System, a great book. Read it. Namaste.